Hey guys, it's Sean, and welcome back to my playthrough of Dredge. This is part five. On uh, the last video, we went to the uh, Stellar Basin, that's what it was called, and we encountered a big monster there. Uh, we're probably going back in this video. Um, but first, I was gonna say I had some crabs in storage, but I think they rotted because I took too long to sell them. Oh well, we're out like, what, a couple hundred bucks? Anyway, in the last video we also got this uh, bottomless lines rig over here that'll help us catch not only abyssal fish, but hadal fish. Which is very exciting. What we're trying to do is we're trying to save up, by the way, for, um, is it this, the versatile rod? so that we can have also access to coastal shallow volcanic and mangrove. Actually, I think at this point we might have a different goal. Let me check. It's uh well how do you go to it? Is it this? Yeah. I think at this point we're really trying to get the harvesting platform so we can get oceanic cuz I don't want to miss out on that. Um although the fathomless winch here does Abyssal, Hadal, and Oceanic. So that's really what we should be getting. We should be trying to get this and this. Those are the only two we need. I, I already went over this. <laughs> I already went over this all, the, this whole thing, like last video, I think. And I'm just, I'm catching back up to myself, okay? I'm catching back up to what I already said. Now, uh, if we go to look at our pursuits, we still got to find uh, three of the relics for the collector. Gotta catch a tiger mackerel for the figure in blue. Uh, we gotta catch these four rare fish, which actually we can go catch the ore fish right now, which I'm excited about it. Um, and we have to collect uh, the rest of the samples for the nerd over there in the fort, which include two Hadal fish, which I just got the capability to go get. So, I think what I'll do first, uh, just for fun, I'll undock and we'll go check out, um, a little bit of night fishing. What the hey? But, uh, no, well, you know what? We'll go, we'll find some abyssal fish. That's what I'm excited to go do. Oh, okay. This is gonna be, well, this is gonna be fun. So, currently I'm going... To the north, we should be going to the south. Okay, oh. What's that one that I just passed? I keep being like, is it, is it abyssal? I'm looking for abyssal fish, dude. I'm doing it. Throwing caution to the wind right now. Yeah, I don't know. What? What? I'm out of focus. Come back. Come back to me, focus. How long have I been out of focus? I've just been sitting over here like an idiot talking out of focus. Come back. If I cover up the background, usually it'll focus back on me. Thank you. Yes, thank you. I'm the main character. You got, you got to like, you got to stand perfectly still in the center of the, get, get out of my way. You got to stand like perfectly still without moving in the center of the camera's sight. Or else it won't do this. It'll go out of sight. Stop that. You know, I'm not running into any abyssal fish out here. Which is kind of annoying. Oh, well, oh, oh, back here. 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 Get off of me. Oh, my God. What? Get. Let go of me. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to fall asleep for a couple hours. Hope that's okay with everybody. Yeah. Okay. You know what? I don't feel like doing that. Let's go check out, um... It'll turn off the light. Ooh, can I blow this up? Loose Debris. You know what? We can get a couple of them. Let's go, let's go do that. We can get some packed explosives. We can just blow our way in there to the ore fish. Uh, okay. Maybe not that phrasing. Um, we can explode our way. That's not really that. 
great either. Uh, do, uh, do you have... Oh, wait, no. This isn't where we, we go to the whaling yards for it. Okay. They're $36 each. I'm just going to go ahead and pick up, like, two. I don't think we need more than that at the moment. We just want to blow up the ones uh, over here. I feel like this, this is fair. Right here, blow this up. Yeah. Blow up the Debris. Seriously, I'm really starting to wonder at this point if he even understands how you pronounce the re. Does he even understand it? He keeps making jokes about it, but like, does he understand that that's not what you do? We got some of that refined metal. And we're gonna blow this up too. Yeah, that's right. I, I, I spent $72 for this. Um, excuse me. Okay, we're back here. Is it? Oh, yeah, we go behind the waterfall. Okay, let's catch this ore fish. Actually, look over here. There's another thing that you can blow up. Right there. And then is there another one over there? Oh my gosh, this water spout. Yeah, well, good luck following me inside the waterfall. <gasps> no! I didn't know that, that was right there. Okay, let's catch this thing, dude. Let's do it. I caught one. Yeah! I caught an oarfish, a splendorous crested sea serpent. The length of its massive body catches the light, shimmering with iridescence. Now, it says depleted, right? But, like, is it really depleted? Or can I come back and catch another one? I'm gonna get the uh, haste effect back. So, I'm supposed to take these back to the um, trader or whatever. This girl over here, right? And eh, since I'm over here, I might as well just get myself a couple wreck fish, you know? <laughs> well, I can only get one, actually, but... Maybe not a couple of wreck fish, maybe just one. Alright, so what do you think of my ore fish, huh? Let's see, fish market? Oh, my all sorts of fish here. What do you pay for this one? 257? Now, this is who I'm supposed to give this to, right? I gotta make sure. Uh... Need to find the locations for the traveling merchant's records. Report or official location to traveling merchant. Okay. So this is what you do. Or you just you just talk to her. Hey again, come fly for a chat. Uh let's see. I found an orfish. That's great news! I'll add it to my records. Here, take this. I'm sure I'll find a use for it. Oh yes, I will. Thank you for your research parts. What about the other fish? Damn! Not so much as a, how do you do? Before she's like, on to other business. Yeah, you want to buy an ore fish? Give me $300. Thank you. I don't, I don't know why I'm being so, like... Uh, so mean. It's not a big deal. Um. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is... I'm going to put this into storage. And we'll go ahead and use the research parts to get this one. I only need one more. So if I get the Fathomless Winch and I get the Versatile Rod, then I don't even need the Harvesting Platform. It does have higher fishing speed. Like way higher. Like these are 82% and that's 132%, but I just think that the two I'm aiming for are better. So that's what I'm gonna do. You know, okay. We just need one more of the uh, uh, research parts or whatever. Hi there. Um, now I'm looking for the tiger mackerel real quick. Just, I'm wondering if I can get it real quick. If oh, huh? 
Huh. No, not really. Okay. Never mind. Ooh, ooh, ooh. What's this right here? Oh, it's more of these things. Sure. <laughs> these things are funny. Oh, it's depleted! I caught a loose jaw! Oh, brother. Okay. Maybe I'll just head back here. I'll sell another couple of, um... I wish I could see further. I guess I really just need to research more lights. I feel like... I feel like having a better light would allow for night fishing to not be so prohibitive. I don't know, just some things I was thinking about. Might as well do a little night fishing here before we go out to the cellar basin to catch those Hadal fish. Oh my god. Yeah, like, we can, we can just catch like some squid here or whatever. They're really easy. I'm all about easy these days. Ooh, I got a trophy. You know, there's all this pomp and circumstance about the, the trophy fish, but then you sell them, and it's like they're not even impressed. They're just like, yeah, I'll give you 20 bucks for it. Can't get over it. Like $85? At this point, are you kidding me? Oh, let's, uh, let's get repaired. I forgot I had hull damage. Okay. Hmm. See, like, look at these lights. Now, now the one that I have, 20 meters range. These tungsten lights, though, 30 meters range. Let me, let me see, actually, because, uh... I know I'm, 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 like, trying to get this thing, but then after that... Wait, do you research better lights? No, you don't. Oh. So then I can just... Oh, I can just get a better light, like, right now. I can get this tung tungsten stud light. Well, tungsten stud light. What am I even talking about? There we go. You wanna sell this light? Okay. Let's go test it real quick. Okay, this light is better. True. Oh, uh, this light, actually, this light is really good. You can see these things from a way further distance now. Huh. Yeah, this light's really good. I probably should have gotten it beforehand. Okay, I'm gonna just real quick take a, a quick snooze. Thank you. And, uh, yeah, we don't need the light on now. Okay. I think that's an oceanic uh, shark right there, so we're not going to worry about that. We want to make bank, dude. Bank. We want to make haste. We, I mean, we want to make bank, too. I won't say no. If there are any abyssal fish on the way there, though, definitely want to catch those. What are these things? Oh, what the hell? They're viper fish! Hell yeah! Viper fish are crazy. You ever seen these things? They're real. Like, seriously. They, and they look like that, too. Ugh. Hovering in wait above the sea floor, these long fish bite and attempt to swallow whatever random prey they encounter. Like, ima imagine, imagine being like a diver and going, oh, damn it, I'm out of focus again. Stop that. We're back. <laughs> Every time I look over, I've probably been out of focus for like five seconds, but I look over and in my mind, I'm like, I've been out of focus for like 15 straight minutes. It only does it sometimes. Anyway, imagine being like a diver on the sea floor and then you're just like, you're like, I can't see anything, and you're reaching your hands out, and then those viper fish, like, bite your fingers off. Stop! Okay, this is not funny anymore. Look at this! Look, am I a joke to you? 
I like the 21 pilot song. My name is Blurry Face. And I'm sick of this shit. Okay. You know what I think it is? I think it's the color of the lights. I think it's the red lights that are doing this. I'm, I'm blaming them anyway. Okay. We're gonna change the color. No, 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 no. This is not okay. Green. You know what? Yeah. We'll pick green. Okay, this is really weird. What the hell is going on? It's... They're... They look red. They look red in the camera, but they're really green. What is going on? No, 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 hang on. Let me look at this. Oh my god. Oh... <gasps> I had some chroma key stuff on. Will you please look at me? This is really depressing. This is insane. You have no idea. There we go. Okay. You know what? I think I think the issue was. I was, I was like messing with it earlier and I tapped on the side of the screen and so I think it was focusing on the side of the screen. Oh my god. Anybody else watching John Wall's Dredge playthrough? I was into it until part five when he went on this long tangent about his face cam. Like anyone cares, dude. Just show us the gameplay. Where's the gameplay? I'm gonna sell these viper fish before they turn into rot. Cause apparently they, what, what's annoying about the stellar basin is that no one over there buys any fish. So like you get fish over there and then they just rot. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of coming back here. Oh my God. Three headed cod. That's a new aberration actually. Fishmonger's gonna probably eat that. All right. Where are we going? Oh, it's like back this way. My bad. What's, you know what's uh, kind of blowing my mind right now is that we're not really that fast. We're gonna be way faster than this later. And we're, I mean, how can we be faster? $200? Thank you. Okay. All right, now for real, no more catching any fish. No more having any fun. It's all business. We've got to go to the Stellar Basin. This is serious. we got to catch the Hadal fish and then donate them for research or whatever. It's part five. We're gonna start going right now, now, now. Oh, is that the Stellar Basin over there? Okay, yeah, I can see the fort. However, we're not heading straight for the fort. We're going to the center of the Stellar Basin and uh, I'm sorry, I see, I see fish and every time I'm like, are these? Oh, they're oceanic. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go in there. Oh my gosh, we're gonna turn on the the mysterious device so that we can actually fish and not get interrupted. Oh my god, wait, this isn't the Stellar Basin. Oh, the Stellar Basin is over here. Good thing we're fast as fuck, boy. I think there's some... Um... See, what are these things over here? Oh, it's more of the loose jaw. Well, I mean, I've already caught a lot of those guys. So I don't really care about that. Um... Oh my god, this, this isn't it. What is this? 
The slab of rock cut above the waters. There are four large, powerful fish shapes carved into its face, and four great fissures running through the rock's base. Four large, powerful fish. So I, I had to make like a, a an offering of four fish, just any four fish. What if I give them like four of these things? These aren't large, powerful fish. Eh, I'm not gonna worry about it. What's this? Shapes in the deep. It's an anchor flag. Nice, dude. Thanks, bro. Oh. Should we get some of these, uh, lumber? These don't rot. Am I hearing a dog? Oh my god. I mean, I'm gonna finish, uh, getting these, so... Wait, where are we? There's more lumber, but we're we're good here. There's a dog right here. Doggo! There's a skinny brown dog leaping around the shallows. Occasionally it lunges at the water, snapping at some small silvery fish. Its technique is ineffective. A skinny brown dog? Well, we're going to get it some fish right now. What the hell? Would you like some fish? I'll catch some fish for you, dude. Here, look. Here we go. Yeah. Yeah, you like that? Okay, I even caught you a trophy. Here, I'm coming back. And we're giving it to you. I had no idea that there was like a little village like this. Okay. They're like sandy crows. Ow! Red snapper lost to the birds? Wait, what? How could... Stop! You're taking my snappers! No! They took my fish! Okay, at, by this point, I've posted part one of this playthrough, and you guys are like, don't worry about your sanity. You don't need to sleep. <laughs> you'll, you'll just see some eyes. Big deal! You'll see some eyes. Um, yeah, well, I've seen a lot more than, than eyes. Oh my god. I caught a gulper eel. Wait, is this one of the few humans have ever seen this eel? Its great gulping jaw can open wider than the length of its body. Don't I need to take this to what's-her-face? You know what I should do? Yeah, we need to sell this right now. Actually, you know what we should do? Holy shit, we need to- we need to sleep. We need to sleep, 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 sleep. Okay, we're good. Yeah, Gulper Eel, uh, Gul Gulper Eel, wasn't that something that she wanted to have? South, okay. We're going, we're going down there right now. What is this thing? Oh, you? I don't care about you. What? Cod? I don't care about that. Oh my cod. I already made that joke. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah, keep going this way. We gotta get her the gulper eel. That's exactly what she wants, isn't it? I'll have caught two out of the four rare fish at that point.
This is crazy. And then you know what? I'm gonna sell it to her and then I'm going to I'm gonna sleep until dawn just to like completely reset my sanity back to zero because it's it's driving me nuts. Okay. Mm. Actually, okay, well, how much are you gonna pay me for it? $248? That's pretty good. Do I have to tell you about it first? Probably not. But I'm gonna do it anyway, just for immersion. I found a gulper eel. That's great news. I'll add to my records. Here, take this. I'm sure you'll find some use for it. Dude, we're gonna get that fishing rod before you know it. <laughs> what about the other fish? Yeah. yeah, but what have you done for me lately? I've got over a thousand dollars. Hell yeah, dude. Oh my God, I get the fathomless winch. Let's get it. Let's buy it. Is it here that I buy it? How much is it? $675? That's nothing. <laughs> Install. Thanks. Oh, do I want this anymore? No, I don't. Sell. That's right. Um, now, uh, if we buy this, then we'll be able to, we'll be able to fish for anything. I've got, I've got an achievement. Swift Reaper have a combined fishing speed of over 200%. And we're going to sell this. Okay, we've got the ultimate fishing setup now. We can, we can fish anything. Anywhere, anytime, let's go. Putting these in uh, storage. And last research part. I mean, what do we even want to research anymore? Uh, yeah, probably an engine, I'm thinking. I mean, there's pots and nets and stuff, but... I mean, if we want to catch them all, if we want to completely finish our Pokedex, then we'll actually want to go crazy with the crab pots. Aberration bonus. A more space efficient design allows this pot to hold more before it needs emptying. I kind of think engines are probably the next thing, though, that we need. Because, like, so I've got the twin prop engine, and then I've got the uh whatever but if we just get this won't it be better the twin jet drive engine hmm you know I, I just realized something if we unlock the jet drive engine and it only takes up one space and you get plus 10 kn per space then you could use, you could buy four of them for four slots and it would be better than that. You could buy six of them for six slots and it would be better than that. And probably better than that. So that's interesting. I feel like I'm kind of like really fast though. Let's get the large crab pot unlocked. Just, you know, in case we ever want to go crazy with the crab pots. All right, um... Oh, my sanity is like, okay again. I really need to go over the Stellar Basin. But I just, I'm just having too much fun fishing. <laughs> in this fishing game. I just feel like I have to like re, uh... Oh, Tiger Mackerel, isn't that what the hooded figure wanted? I have to like re-up my, uh, inventory. I'll sell everything except one Tiger Mackerel and then I'll go give the, uh, the hooded figure, his uh, tiger mackerel. And then I'll move on. Okay, sell that. Which one of these is worth the least? Okay, that one. Okay. 
Now, where was he again? He was like, wasn't he like over here? Okay, we'll just go to the northwest. I think he's in here, isn't he? Before we do that, let's check out this little island because I don't think I've been over there. Can we even land on this one? Oh my god. See, like, I could photograph these, but I don't think I get anything from it. Okay, so what are these? Oh, so, okay, I've, had, I've bought, or I've bought, I've caught these sharks before. Is not really... There's not really anything else here. There's some of these little, like, uh, manta ray things, which is cool, I guess. Oh my gosh. Holy hell, these things are hard to store properly. I'm just going to take one. All right. Now we'll go help the clearly evil hooded figure over here. And then we'll be on our way. Oh, wait, is he not here? Just figured I'd, I'd catch some more. One more. And then we'll go do it. Like, the sun's about to set. Oh, well. Oh, here he is. Here he is. More still empty. They point to another shape on a second scroll. This one looks like a tiger mackerel. Again, they rip into the flesh of the fish, drawing out its heart. It's consumed as quickly as the first. Almost uh, fulfilled. They point to a fish on the final scroll. This one is a snake mackerel. Uh, yeah, sorry, not really familiar with the snake mackerel. Does anyone know what they're talking about? Because I don't. A snake mackerel. I don't think I've seen that yet. Hmm. Well, if I see it, I'll come back and I'll give it to you. If I can get there in time, dude. Like, I kind of wish you could fast travel a little bit. I understand why you can't. I'm just saying. Stop that. Okay. Why does it take a long time sometimes to dock? All right. Thank you. And now it's time to rest. We're going to rest all night. I don't even care if the eyelid closes. It seems like if I just wait until the eyelid closes, it's not all the way. And it like opens back up within two seconds. Let's go. Stellar base in time, for real. For real. Okay, those seem like shallows. So like, those are dolphins. Now I can't catch those, but I can photograph them. Which is interesting and everything, but... If it's just gonna take a screenshot, Oh, there's the photographer, right? Then I'm not really that interested. So let's keep going. That dog is really bothering me because I want to, I want to feed the dog with my catches. Oh, these things, these things are crazy. What the hell? Ghost shark? What the hell? Sometimes called the chimera, this phantom of the deep lacks the teeth of other sharks, instead having three bony grinding plates fused to its skull. Holy. Okay. Well, thank you. Okay, these things are pretty far down, it looks like. 
Yeah, what the hell is this? It's a barrel eye. Give me an aberration. Come on, you know you want to give me an aberration. Aberration. No? No aberration? Okay. Is this island... I'm gonna keep going. Ooh, these things are crazy. I'm waiting. A fang tooth. Okay, well, I was trying to get the, um... The trophy. I did get the trophy! Okay, I've got a question. What's over here? Can I sell fish over here? That might... I, I didn't know that there was a, a third place I hadn't been. That might actually help me out. Is it just across this? Yeah. If I can sell fish here, that'll, that'll solve everything. I thought I was just doing stuff for the researcher over here. And I was like, well, the researcher doesn't even buy fish. Wait, wait. Oh my God. Oh my God, is the traveling merchant over here? You can't be serious, dude. I went all the way. What do you think of Stellar Basin? What beautiful crystalline water. It's a shame I can't take my boat too much further in. I've run aground on the coral a few times. Mm. Have you checked out the abandoned resort to the east? It's pretty impressive. There's probably some decent salvage to be had there. It's kind of amazing how quickly it all falls to ruin without people around to maintain it. In a few years, these pontoons will probably go the same way. That's just the way of things, I guess. I'm so, like, salty that you're mm. here and that I didn't think of it. Okay, the ghost shark is 53, that's pretty good. The barrel eyes are 13, and the fang tooth is $10. Okay, and these are all abyssal fish. There we go. Okay, great. Now, let me, let me see real quick. Under my pursuits. Not that one. I saw a dog on the beach. It's bound to be hungry. Why don't you give it your fish? I'm so annoyed. Do I have to like, do I have to like cook the fish and scale it and stuff? I've got to get a giant amphipod and a snail fish. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go around. Okay. Um, yeah, here's the fort. Where is it? Oh, the research outpost is like over here. Careful. Okay, those are anglers, which we don't necessarily need. Let's get the generator running. First, however. Okay. Now turn on the generator. Yeah. Okay, so the repulsion machine is uh, humming. And now we can head out and get some of those Hadal fish or whatever. Oh, well, first of all, I mean, obviously. We're gonna get the sextant, a surprisingly intact navigational tool. Its complex mechanisms have seized up, but this could still be valuable to the right dealer. This is Hadal. It's a snailfish. Still catching it.
Wow, okay. Oh, holy hell, dude. Um... Uh, I don't know how to do this. Okay. This might be... Oh my gosh. We're not gonna... We're not gonna leave it. Don't worry. Hmm. Eh. Let's do it like that. Oh. Opal earrings. Okay. You know, not bad. Not bad. What are these things? Um, alright. So this is just like an abandoned village over there, or... Or what? Alright, let's go ahead and uh, sell... Our new Hadal fish. I know we didn't catch both of them, but we did catch one of them. Okay. Alright, pay attention. Let's see. Sell that one, that one, that one, and that one. And we'll go ahead and put the other one at the fort. We'll go there and do that. And then we'll come back here. We'll catch more Hadal fish. Yes. Now these are Barracuda, aren't they? Oh, a savage Barracuda. I like the aberrations. They're fun. Oh, yeah, the sextant. I should probably put that into storage. Can you please... Thank you. I buy lots of fish here. You're gonna pay 81 bucks for this? I mean, I wouldn't, but all right. Let's put the sextant into storage. And let's go to... Oh, oh dude, what's that over there? What the hell? What's this thing over here? Look at that thing, dude. Does that thing attack the boat? That's like a that's a whale shark, is what that is. Oh, no, that's oh, that's definitely a whale shark. Hell yeah! It's just hanging out here too. That's cool. That's really cool. There's actually, I believe there's an aquarium, I want to say in Georgia, that has a whale shark, like a big whale shark tank. Uh, normally you don't see them in aquariums. I think it's the only one that I know of that has that. Oh, oh, is that a, is that a hammerhead shark? Oh my God, it is. Hammerhead shark. Okay, we gotta, we gotta make room for this. I mean, it's huge. Okay, well, we're obviously keeping this, but we're gonna have to get rid of one of these. Oh, holy hell. I think it's... I'll have to do that. And then... We'll have to get rid of two of the anglerfish. Yeah, I I feel bad doing it, but that's what we gotta do. Now these red things, I think they're the ones that we, uh, yeah, those are the loose jaws, okay. I'm so excited about selling this hammerhead shark. I think the one thing that this game is missing for me is that the really the main challenge for the fish um, and their uh, and, and like acquiring the fish is time management. How quickly you can get them. Other than that, it's 
$187. Like, getting the Hammerhead Shark, you'd think would be really tough, but it wasn't, right? It was really easy, actually. So, it's a little... I think that aspect of the game could be made a little more challenging. Just my opinion. I do need to get I need to get two cloth and I can get the new hull for 800. That's going to be that's going to be really good. Okay, so if you see any cloth, let me know. Where are these over here? Oh, these are like the, those are like the glow in the dark squid or whatever. You don't have to let me know if uh, there's cloth. I'll see it. All right. I got it. More of those squid. I gotta give them the snailfish specimen before it starts to rot. I've I've been hanging on to it this whole time. Whoopsie. Yo. This one's kind of stale, so uh apologies. Now this last one, the giant amphipod. You can only catch it by fishing. But I'm kind of wondering. See, these are all fish. But it says catch style hook. So you don't get it in crab pots? I'm assuming that that's the case. Let's take a look real quick. Let me look at the stellar basin. Um, Because we haven't gotten that crab. We've gotten the Aurora Jellyfish, the Fang Tooth, the Barrel Eye, the Firefly Squid, the Red Snapper, not the Amphipod, but working on it, the Loose Jaw, the Snailfish. Oh, that thing that I passed on, I hadn't caught yet. Oopsie. The Glowing Octopus, the Anglerfish, the Barracuda, the Hammerhead Shark. There's an aberration for the Hammerhead Shark. That's, that's neat. And then, what is this? The blue crab, okay. So these are like crab pot things. Okay, got it. Is there anything else? Actually, I should probably ask you a couple things. Um, what sort of creature attacked you? Well, I got the sense that it was attacking the research outpost itself rather than me specifically. I suppose it was disturbed by some of my monitoring equipment. There are dozens of machines running there, all powered by a noisy generator. It was huge, larger than any other marine species I've studied. It attacked with tentacles, so I guess it's some sort of octopus or squid. Or an anemone. One of my research vessels was moored around the back of the station, so I managed to slip away in that while it was tearing apart the front. There was a lot of valuable data and equipment left there, but I'm not going back. I can't. I won't face it again. Have you noticed anything unusual since you arrived? Now that you mention it, I've been so preoccupied with the attack and having to rebuild here, I'd almost forgotten. I found these letters from my sister. She sent them to me while I was studying before, before she. The researcher is quiet for a moment and stares off to the side. Anyway, I kept finding them amongst my papers. I don't remember packing them, but I must have. I started finding them more frequently. They turned up in my collection nets and my sampling tubes they were letters i'd never seen before but they were in her writing they were in her name they were saying things talking about things that happened after she died i can't explain it wow okay that's strange let's go ahead and take a little yep all right hmm all right let's catch that last amphipod or whatever the hell it is Hmm, so we got the glowing octopus there. You would think that I would have to like, catch those amphipods in like a net or something, but apparently not. 
Oh, yeah, let's turn on the generator. Okay. Okay, now let's look around. Oh, these are them. Got it. The giant amphipod. Let's get the trophy. Nice. Any aberrations? Damn. Oh, holy hell. What the? Holy shit. What the? What the hell was that? Glad we got rid of it. Whew. Okay. About those specimens. Caught the last of them. Actually, let's give you the smallest one. 29. That one's a little shrimp. Yeah, I'll give you that one. I have good news and bad news. What you want to hear first? The bad news. The bad news is that the samples you retrieve from the basin have dangerously high counts of cellular mutations. The good news is that I've honed in on what's causing the abnormalities of the ecosystem. This all points to one thing. That thing in the basin is harmful to life at a cellular level. It damages everything around it, whether passively or with intent. I need to write a report on my findings. Sorry, our findings. Immediately. Maybe now they'll take me seriously. Oh, how rude of me. You've done all this for me and I've not got much to say thank you with them. You should have this. Please research parts. She opens a drawer and pulls out a book. Sheepishly, she hands it to you. This is something I wrote during my studies. You gave me a book that you wrote. I think it will be useful to you. Thanks again for your help. I'd recommend that you avoid the area. It doesn't seem safe to be near the basin. Oh, safety. But that was all for a book? I'm stunned right now. Uh, I guess I'll start reading it. Yeah. We've discovered 52 of 151. Nice, dude. Um, well, yeah. Let's go sell these amphipods. So what about, like, a shipwreck? Ooh. Oh, it's an aberrated hammerhead shark. It's called a gazing shark. Okay, well, what do we need? We need cloth. And what are these things? Okay. Well, this is wood right here. Oh my god, we don't need any wood. We got plenty of that. What was that? I just I thought I just heard something. Okay. What was that stingray that was chasing us? Looked like it wanted to swallow the boat. Okay, those are like barracudas. How much are you gonna give us for the aberration, uh the hammerhead aberration, huh? You gonna give us Something good for that? $400? What? How much for this? $40? That's a trophy you're buying, I hope you know. Okay. I've got $1,700. Wondering at this point... If we should just buy some crab pots. Like... Large crab pot. I mean, we might- we may as well, right? 
Basic crab pot. I mean, let's not go crazy. Oh, excuse me. But like, yeah. Uh, crab pot, sure. Like right here, let's put a large one right there. Okay, so now if I'm not mistaken, oh, here we go. We haven't discovered these yet. Ooh, a coral grouper. What the hell? Do you see that? Oh, it's just later in the day, so the, the shadows are elongating. elongating. Okay, I thought there was something deep underwater that was happening right there. Oh my god. Okay, we can do one more. Oh, or can we? Yeah, we can. That's it. Alright, so no aberrations from the coral grouper. Big whoop. Um, as I was saying, yeah, we haven't found a shipwreck yet that has the stuff in it. $25. I think I might sleep until dawn, and then we go out and look for it, because there's a couple places I haven't been. Oh, a glowing octopus. Nice. I'll come back and, and look for it. Now, I've, I've asked people if there's any shipwrecks around, and... I mean, have I heard of anything? What is this? Holy hell! What? I did not... Okay, I didn't realize... Wow. Another hammerhead shark? Well, don't mind if I do. Um, yeah, let's keep looking around for a shipwreck around here. Hmm. Because I'm not sure... Well, actually... I found the music box. Find the ring in Stellar Basin is what we're looking for. How do we get in here? Do we need to blow this up with explosives? Oh, there's just some like refined metal back there. I can see it, thankfully. If we ever need any more refined metal, maybe I'll come back and get it. Uh, there's a, okay, there's a ship Shipwreck right here. Hmm. Let's see. That is lumber. That is lumber. And this right here is cloth. Okay. Now this is what we needed to get our hull upgraded again. Okay, let's go ahead and get this cloth, guys. It's so easy to do bad Let's Player commentary. It comes so naturally. Alright, let's go ahead and leave now that we've got our cloth, guys. Let's go ahead and check this one out. Um... Ah, geometry dash over here. Oh, a research part! Yes! Okay. The stone hums quietly, sending ripples through the air. And it really doesn't do anything for me, huh? You know, maybe... Wait, maybe the researcher can tell us if there's any shipwrecks around here? There's only two people to talk to. There's the traveling merchant... And there's, um, the researcher. We've done everything we can for the researcher, so I'm wondering if... Maybe there's just, like, a piece of dialogue I have to get from her now. Ooh. Take all. Okay, let's sell this. 
$210. Okay, now... Yeah, I just gotta do... Two cloth. And we'll be good here. Let's just go ahead and do two cloth. And then we spend $800, get our tier 3 haul. I got an achievement for upgrading the, the haul. Let's go. Now, are there any of these that we want to do? Modifies two cargo spaces, also hold rods. There's really no point in us doing that because we've got all the rods that we need. Two rod spaces to also hold nets. Now, if we want to have a net alongside the rods, we might want to do that. Four new cargo spaces to the hull. One cargo space is also to hold engines. One cargo space to also hold lights. Um, I'm kind of wondering about this one. Frankly. Because... I kind of want to get better lights, and I think the only way that you can get better lights is, um... By upgrading the space for them? Now, is there any place that needs, like, refined metal or anything like that? No, that's just for a new hull. And you only need three of them. Okay. Good to hear. Uh, let's check. Oh, this is looking so much better. Look at this. Looking more like a hull, like a true hull. Any... I need to be careful what, what I say. <laughs> About hulls. Um, let's get, I guess we'll unlock this, which allows us to get this, the massive crab pot, which lasts for seven days. And has a 4% aberration bonus, by the way. I'm gonna get that next. You know what? I'm gonna go all in on the pots. Yeah, that's right. All in on the pots. Okay. Hello? Wait, where am I going? This way, I think. Ooh. Now, if the researcher doesn't have any news about any shipwrecks or anything, that's gonna stump me. Fuck off. Yeah, it's gonna really stump me. Because then at that point, it's like... Who do we even talk to around here about that? Huh. There's really nothing... <sighs> you really don't know? Then does the traveling merchant... Am I, am I forgetting something? Oh... It's not that. Hmm. Yeah, I guess I'll go back and check the traveling merchant again. I probably should have done it before I left, but whatever. Oh, research part. I love just randomly getting those. It's like Christmas every time. Oh, some of these things? Sure. I'll, I'll just have you guys know, I'm all consumed grouper. <laughs> these guys are, they're funny. I'm getting really close to Googling the dog thing. Like somebody, somebody has got to convince me not like, like to Google, or not to Google, to, to not Google the dog thing, because otherwise I'm doing it. 
The fact that I caught some fish, like, this will get him, and then he was just like, I don't care about that at all, has got me spooked. Shaking and crying. Oh my god, it's a Medusa octopus. Can I just hit take all? Uh, none of space. Well, okay, I guess I'll sell stuff and then come back. You know, I might as well just get this. And then what is this? Complex crab pot. Because we gotta get both of these to get like the ultimate crab pot. And then we'll just use that. Thanks. Oh. Okay. Get this. this thing's crazy looking. I wish you could zoom in on these guys. I wanna know how much you'll pay me for this one. It's an aberration, isn't it? I feel like that should score me some points. 119 dollars? I'm so rich, bro. Okay, should I buy the hardy crab pot? It's only 135 dollars. It's better than the efficient crab pot, right? Yeah. I think so. One day remaining. Eh, I mean, let me check actually and find out if there's anything more I need to get with the crab pots here. Okay, so not exotic. Wait, Stellar Basin. Okay, who am I missing? Well, I'm missing this crab. It says depth zero to five meters. So maybe I should leave it out. Um, abyssal, abyssal, coastal, coastal, hot all, abyssal, hot all, shallow, shallow, abyssal, oceanic. Zero to five meters again over here. Haven't caught it. Five to fifty meters. Haven't caught it either. So maybe we should leave this open. Five to fifty meters. Let me see if I can get. If we want to get something that's like a little deeper. Let's get it more like, yeah, like right here. There we go. It's at like 10 meters, dude. That's pretty good, right? So other than that, we've like caught everything. Oh, oh my God, I keep forgetting to ask her about shipwreck. She's the only one that would know, right? Or do we just need to find it? No, I've exhausted all dialogue. Then where the hell is the shipwreck? Okay, I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna try using the device to stun the creature or whatever. I mean, because there's like a shipwreck right there, right? Yeah, let's go use it, because maybe we have to go out. Over the abyss. Okay, we're using it. Thanks so much, researcher, for your little repulsion machine. Okay. All right, let's see if we can find it. Um... Okay, we're not gonna fish anything. We're just gonna look for a shipwreck. I just feel like if it was... If it was anywhere, it would be around here. Oh, well, there's some crap right here, I mean. It's a doubloon. Oh my god. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know where it is. We're looking for a ring, right? I didn't I mean I like I didn't I didn't find it in storage, did I?
Because I remember finding a ring, but I don't remember... Okay, yeah, this is the crab pot. I don't remember it being anything. Oh my god, the stupid angler fish is here. Oh, uh, whatever. I'm just gonna fish a little bit. I got an achievement. Lifted from the deep. Catch 250 fish using rods. Yeah, you're welcome. You know what? Okay, I, I want to make a really cool shape. I've decided. Oh, can I do it like this? Oh, yeah, I can! Ooh, it's a Medusa octopus. Kind of, It kind of ruins it a little bit. Okay, that's better. Look at my, look at my octopus square. Okay. I don't know. Okay, we've caught all the other Stellar Basin, um, fish and everything though. Oh my God, another one. Oh my God. I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll leave it out, but we're going to repair that thing soon. $300. Eh, put the doubloon away. Let me check storage. There's no ring. I found some opal earrings. I found this sextant, but this isn't it. To the right dealer. Oh, well. I mean, it's not a big deal. I'm just gonna sleep and, and check those crab pots. Well, I might need to repair this one. Let me see, oh, there's like a blue crab. I'll get it uh, repaired though. Oh my god, I'm still out of focus. Driving me crazy, dude. Let's go check it. Is it uh, is it out here? Here it is. Okay, now this has stuff in it. Ooh, what is that? A spiny lobster? That's what we wanted. Okay, let's pick this up then. Because we don't need it this deep now. Now that we've caught that, we can put it out here. Now, if you're wondering, is John going to get all the aberrations? Uh, the answer... The answer is no. Holy shit. I don't know what... I think that was that... Stingray thing, but we're just gonna go to sleep here. Oh. I've got I gotta sell the spiny lobster or whatever. Yeah, I'm not gonna get all the aberrations, but if I can get all the fish, that'll be nice. So we're just gonna sleep. That's right. Look at us sleeping all we're sleeping all day. Okay, now let's check our crab pots. Oh, <gasps> the crown of thorns. This is the last one. Oh, take all, sorry. I think it's playing the victorious music because we did it. I don't know, I, that's, that's incredibly victorious music. Like, I feel like I don't deserve it. Okay, we'll sell those, and then... Crab pots and troll nets need to be repaired. Yes, I know. I know. Okay. Throw those in storage, and, um... 
You know, I think that's gonna do it. For, can you please? You guys have no idea how much it annoys me when it blurs. I know, I know some of you guys are like, we can't even see you, dude. And I appreciate it, but look, look at how obvious it is. Right? Hello? You know how you, get, you, know how you can fix it? <laughs> okay, it didn't fix it. Sometimes it does, though. Focus on me, you idiot. You idiot. Absolute. You fool. You fool. There we go. Auto focus is so annoying. Now, I would do manual focus, but I, I tend to sit, like, all over the place. Like, closer, further away. So I don't want to have to, like, center my uh, position around it, if that makes sense. All right. Well, thank you for watching this episode of Dredge. I didn't expect to spend it, like, the entire time wrapping up stuff in the Stellar Basin. And frankly, we still haven't wrapped up things in the Stellar Basin. We've got a hungry dog we need to feed. We've got a shipwreck we need to find, but there's only two people to talk to. So I'm like, where's, where are we gonna, where are we gonna find out about the shipwreck uh, to get the item for the collector? I'm just so annoyed right now. But we'll get to it in the next episode. So hope to see you then. I don't think else to say. Think critically.